Hi guys, let's look at uh, on Hoover event uh, on Microsoft Access forms and reports. What I mean, if I may start by showing you, uh, if you are keen enough on this point, you see when I press my cursor on cross form, something is happening. When it goes to shift to quit, something is happening, you see? And when I click on it, like that, it changes color. And when I click on this one, let me come up again. Uh, when I click on it, you'll notice that um, you'll notice that as, as something is happening. So let me let me get in again inside my system. So the password is wrong. So let me go again here. So when we go to this point, hide, you see, it changes color and hide, it changes color. But uh, I had made a mistake on clicking quit. So if I click on this one, you see it changes color. This is whatever I want to show you how it is uh, accomplished. So what we need to do here, uh, let me go back so that I can see my design view. So I go to design view of my form. I want to assign some documents or some files like for example i may bring this one somewhere there so that i show you here so i want to design two buttons or three buttons cross quit and hide or show ribbon so i usually use togo buttons it's because togo buttons have the capability to accept on hoover and pressed events uh, well more than the command button so I click on the toggle button. This is my toggle button. I draw my toggle button. Then type cross form. Cross form. Then uh, this one should be taken somewhere there. Then we can also draw another toggle button. Just go to the sign. Then take another toggle button. This toggle button number two. Quit application. Then we have our last toggle button. So I drew my last toggle button there. This one is uh, hide, uh, hide ribbon, let's say hide ribbon. Then guys, after doing this, you need to apply the on hover or pressed events. So you need to click on the button. Then here you go to all, make sure you can see this. So you, you go to all. So when you go to all, you will notice that um, we have pressed cara, hover for a cara, pressed for a cara, and hover cara. So I base my argument on hover cara, the cara that comes over when the cursor is on it. So my hover cara would be black. Then when I press and the control rules is focus, then my cara should be blue. That is for that button. So after doing that one, if I just go and run that form, home view. Guys, you see, the hover car is black when pressed, it turns blue. You see, but in normal circumstances, it's in its default color. So we can also change this one by going to up there. Uh, first of all, go to design view of the form. You must be in design view because you are designing. So I go to quit design, property sheet will be there. So I go to hover car. Again, hit the three dots. This time around, I want red and pressed to be green. So you just ch uh, change to green. Then for this one, let's go to Hoover Cara. Hoover Cara for this one, hit the three dots. Let it be blue. But when pressed, it turns red. So guys, let's see if I save that one. Then right click, sorry, right click up here. Go to form view. You see now it's changing. The hover color is different from that one. When, or when you also click on the the buttons like that, you notice that the the hover colors are working perfectly, just like it was working on this. So guys, that's how you apply hover, pressed, and other uh, properties from the from the property sheet to the toggle buttons using Microsoft Access Forms. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, and also comment on my videos. Thank you very much.